It looks like Marvel may have found the last member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The studio has already cast pretty much everyone for the Out of This World superhero adventure, with the notable exception of the gun-toting Rocket Raccoon. Now, Latina Review reports that Marvel wants the A-Team star Bradley Cooper to voice the furry little hero. No official announcements have been made, but if Cooper takes the job, he'll join a superhero team that already includes Zoe Saldana, Chris Pratt, and Michael Rooker. He also wouldn't be the only actor lending his pipes to a CG character. You know this. You're lying. Riddick star Vin Diesel was recently cast as the voice of the tree man Groot. Guardians of the Galaxy is currently shooting and will hit Earth next summer. And if you need more Marvel in your life, the studio is working on a new experience. Following the success of films like The Avengers, Disney and Marvel have announced The Marvel Experience, a traveling attraction that will celebrate the heroic Marvel Universe. How about that? The event will visit different cities and take place inside a large movable dome the size of two football fields. There will be cool things like 4D motion rides, virtual reality and holographic simulations, 3D animated features and motion comics, merchandise and plenty of other stuff. The Marvel Experience is slated to begin its tour in 2014 and we'll let you know when cities and locations are announced. Marvel and Disney are also working on a live action arena and stage show known as Marvel Universe Live, which is also slated to go on tour next year. It looks like audiences haven't seen the last of The Office boss David Brent. Hello. <laughs> Ricky Gervais created the uncomfortably awkward character for the original British version of The Office, and he recently reprised the role for a series of new YouTube videos. This is right up my alley. Now, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Gervais wants to make a David Brent movie as well. Let's go make a video. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Like the new YouTube videos, the film will see David Brent struggle to break into the music industry, but this might prove to be very difficult. The character has been down on his luck ever since he was fired from his position as Slough Branch manager of the Wernham and Hogg paper merchant. There's no word yet if Ricky Gervais will actually be able to turn his hopes of a David Brent movie into a reality. In the meantime, audiences can watch Gervais as the lead human in Muppets Most Wanted, which arrives in March. Crazier things have happened. Yeah, sick, well, sick, well. Oh, and will... There will soon be a new way to cause mayhem in Retro City Rampage. The hit indie game is already available on the PC, PS3, Wii, 360, and Vita, and now it's coming to the Nintendo 3DS. Creator Brian Provinciano says that the new port requires a significant amount of work in order to make the visuals compatible with the dual screen format. The gameplay is also being tweaked to work better with the new control layout. The Nintendo 3DS might be the perfect home for Retro City Rampage because the game was inspired by classic Nintendo titles. I was originally fiddling around making an actual NES game eight years ago and decided I wanted to do that game but I wanted to do it better and the way to do that was to do it on new consoles but retain the style so it still feels the same. There's no word yet on when the 3DS version of Retro City Rampage will be released but if you just can't wait it will be playable at PAX in Seattle which takes place this weekend. <laughs> You might have to sell the items in your inventory and save up coins if you want to play The Elder Scrolls Online. Publisher Bethesda Softworks has announced that the massively multiplayer online game will require a $15 monthly subscription fee. This may come as a surprise to gamers given the fact that many MMOs have been moving away from paid subscriptions in recent years. Most online games are now free to play, giving users the choice of purchasing optional in-game content instead of charging a fee. We'll let you know if they change their minds. The Elder Scrolls Online will launch on computers and next-gen consoles in spring 2014. And it looks like Benedict Cumberbatch won't be unleashing his wrath with Guillermo del Toro. The Star Trek Into Darkness villain has dropped out of Crimson Peak, the new haunted house movie being directed by the Pacific Rim filmmaker. No reason has been given for the actor's departure, and there's no word yet on who might replace him. Why did you allow me to live? The lead female character in Crimson Peak is still set to be played by Jessica Chastain, who recently appeared in Mama, a ghost tale produced by Guillermo del Toro. We'll keep you up to date with all of the frightening details. Shooting is slated to begin next year. The director behind Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter may be taking on ancient Rome. Deadline reports that director Timur Bekmambetov is in talks to helm a remake of the 1959 classic Ben-Hur. The film tells the story of a wealthy merchant in ancient Jerusalem who rises up against the Roman Empire. There will be a shout of freedom such as the world has never heard before. 
In related news, Team Rebecca Mamatov is producing a nutty new horror movie titled Squirrels, which is about, you guessed it, killer squirrels. <laughs> A short teaser has already appeared online, but the actual film won't begin shooting until later this year.